Here we have the Ishtar Gate. Notice the glazed bricks and lions. The Ishtar Gate is the eighth gate of this city. We are notice the lions that are paved on the walls. We are now entering the Tower of Babel. This tower is the tower that is in the story in the Bible. Some think it was in the city of Babel, and but we have no real proof. We are now entering the Asigla, which is a temple to the god Marduk. We are now going to what a medical house would have looked like. <clears throat> Ancient medicine in Babylon was mostly with herbal potions. They had um, brewing. They had brewing stands that they would make a medical tea to for the people to drink. We are now going to cross the Euphrates River to see what houses would have been like. Oh no, it looks like the Euphrates is flooding. We're now entering where the houses will be. To the right, we have a lower class house, and to the left, we have an upper class house. This is the upper class house. It has two levels. On the bottom, it has a slave's quarters, and tables and a bathroom. On the next level, we have the master bedroom and decorations and windows. On these houses, there wasn't a door because they did not have the capacity to make them. And now here, we have a lower class house with basic, basically everything you would need. And then we're now going to the temple of Ea, where, would you, where you would worship Ea, the god of war. And then finally, we're going to the hanging gardens. The Hanging Gardens were originally built on top of a ziggurat by Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife because she missed her home, um, her home country, Africa.